All right, you can go ahead and do the presentation of your final project, sir. Okay. Very, very, very short. It's a very brief, very brief project. And this is what I have so far. At least that I was composing. <laughs> okay. Can you see it? Yeah, I can now. Okay. Well, this is my final project. It's in the key of C. Now, sir, you did all that analysis. Why you ain't write down the dog on uh, the uh, the Roman numeral analysis under this, son? The first two, first two, first two um, analysis projects were great. Now this project is when you bring everything together. Go ahead, continue, sir. I wanted to uh, make the piece first, but I ran out of time. However, this is what I do have when I can analyze it for you right now. So, it's in the key of C, so there's no sharps and flats in the signature. And so there is a D an F, a G, and a C. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. This is <laughs> analyze it ahead of time, sir. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So this chord right here. Mm -hmm. It's Look like it's a juicy chord, but you don't know what it is. Well, yeah, it's um. Okay, so it's the it's the one it's a sus chord of of the of the C chord. Yeah, and the and the second note, which is the D, is in the bass. That's the sustain note. And then it's a major seven. So it's a really a one uh, sus two with a major seven because the one is the C and this is the sus note instead of it, it's sustained because instead of it being the E, which is the normal third, it's brought down to the two. And then the G is the fifth. Wait a minute. That would actually make this chord. Why did I do this? Okay. C, D, F, G. So I could say that this is actually the dominant seventh with a such four because the G is the is the dominant of C, it's the fifth, and it's got the seventh, which is the F, so that's a minor seven. However, rather than having the B the B is raised to a C, so that would make it a sustain because C is the four of G and B is the third. So it's really a G, it's really dominant seven such four chord, which is inverted with the fifth in the base, so it's in second inversion. If you wanted to make that a dominant seven chord, you have to change that C to a B. I have to change the C to a B. Then it would be a dominant seven chord. As it stands right now, 
That's a little different from what Dama is saying, of course. It probably sounds really good, too. That's probably why I did it, because it sounded good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I haven't changed the sense. So what would it be? Technically, you have a augmented third in there. If you look at that C as a B sharp, then you got G, B sharp, D, F. Which is an augmented major chord with a minor seven. So I'll write that with a five augmented. And it's you can, you can put a you can put a five plus three. Five plus three. Just saying I'm augmenting the third. And then put a seven right next to it. So it's five augment five as a as a as a dominant five as a dominant five with an augmented third. You did that to yourself. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway. So yes, so it's a dominant, uh, dominant five with the third argument. And the second chord is D, G, F, B. So this, so this is the dominant, wait a minute. I was just being fancy, wasn't I? Oh, you you being a lot of fancy. I was being fancy. Okay. So since your D is in basis inverted, because the root of this chord would be the G, it would be the G because it'd be G and then the B, and then the D and then the F. So this is actually a dominant, the dominant five. Except it's in, in second inversion. The next chord is C, B, G, D. So that would be another. So this would be another five four. Wait a minute. B G. Okay, so there'd be another five four with the C added. So that would really be a Eleven of the five. Is that correct? What? Let's that again. I said it'd be eleven. The eleven of the five. But but the eleven is in the face. So you say this is a, a GB uh, a, a GBB chord? Yes. What you got that C in it? Right. That would be the eleven. Okay. Okay. 
and that would be in third inversion. Now, remember what we talked about about part writing? Yeah. You're not following no part writing rules right now. You're just jumping all over the place. Hmm. You wanted to, the idea is to make it as smooth as possible. I mean, but it's cool. Go ahead. That's, that's what I had. Okay. Next chord is A, C, B, G. So it's a, it's a minor six chord. Close to six. It's a new position. The A is the six is C. This chord is D, G, F, C. C, B, F. So, this would be the It's a really different chord. Hold on. That's that's your response. It's a really different chord. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Okay. So. That would be a the two four, but it'd be a seven. It'd be the minor seven for the two four. But the C would make it augmented. Wait, no, 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 no. The C is the seven. I'm sorry. The the G would make it diminished. See why you're supposed to uh, analyze this ahead of time, sir? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The pencil's paper. Right this time. You are supposed, the idea is for today for you to come to me and say, this is what I wrote and this is why I believe it's this way. This is the direction I'm headed in. Hmm. Time management, my brother, time management. Okay, so what I need for you to do is um, email me this, okay. as well as the, um, the paperwork for the other two presentations. I want you to send them all to me, okay? Okay. Um, did a good work, did a good job actually graded you based off of what you did during the present during each presentation so good work you can actually check uh your grade on um popularly um i will go ahead and um look at this final project that you just did um a little later and then i will contact you and we can discuss what you was trying to do and what you actually did um my my parting words of wisdom for you is this time management my friend um if you know you have an assignment that's due with me you must make sure it gets done when it's supposed to get done so that way you don't have a ton of bricks waiting to come down upon your head 
Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Email me everything right now. Um, and I will talk to you later on. Good work. Make sure you register for music composition. Yeah, I'm registered for that. All right, sir. Be blessed. Good work. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Short. What other music classes are you, are you planning on taking? Um, next semester, I'm taking composition and I, I, I believe music tech. Music tech, African American music, and then of course voice class. You got a voice class, African American music technology. No, no, music tech and African American music are two different, uh, two different classes. I was about to say what? <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Understood. All right, be blessed, man. I will talk to you later on. Good work today. All right, thank you, guys. You're welcome, sir.